Shit, some things just stay the same, man. I mean, the game is the game. And the thing is, since the towers is gone, I'm gonna need to take my thing to some new places, you feel me? You know I'm gonna be home soon enough, right? Yeah, first parole hearing, I'm out, for real. Shit is fixed right. I come home, <laughs> shit. It's gonna be a little hell to be paid, you know what I mean? A good soldier ain't gonna lack for work. Take that number, man. When you have to call, they'll hook you up, no problem. It's like a coming home gift, all right? Call it. What up? The joint might have broke him. Boy, she talking about homie walked up and shot Elijah Davis. Broad daylight. At Pensy and Gold. Then picked up the phone, down 911. Told the police I just shot a nigga, come get him. That dude ain't breaking. Nah. Now, Avon saw something in Cuddy's eyes. Something that Weebay was blind to because of Cuddy's reputation. The thing is, Jail did break Cuddy somewhat, but not in a manner of getting soft because he wasn't soft. Mentally, Cuddy was at that crossroad, one that most street guys will come to after losing too much to the game. And Pete, a lot of these old heads will come home from jail trying to act hard or trying to show everyone they're still with it. But if you observe them closely, you'll see that that fire in their stomach has simmered down. Their flame has gone out. Yes, they still may have wisdom for the game, but what they lost is that young heart to take risks, to be spontaneous, to have a tireless ambition. These are the qualities that are now elusive to Cuddy. And after a 14 year bid at Jessup, he's a wake up away from being a free man. Yet, he shows no enthusiasm, no joy. And from what I could see, the only emotion he displays is fear. A fear of the unknown. Short time. You only got the one day left, huh? You done the one, you just gotta do that other. It's like they say. You only do two days. The day you go in, then you come out. I don't know. I did 14 years. Yeah, you know, you did you a little stretch, true. But you're still a soldier, right? Now, honestly, Cuddy wasn't sure about returning to the game. The only thing that he was sure about is that he wasn't good at anything else. And it's this line of thinking that creates a fear of failure. A fear that we can't succeed in the real world like we do in the game. So we cling to this fictional character that we constructed as a means to feel comfortable in our own skin. And I'll tell you how. But first, Cuddy needs to distinguish the difference between Cuddy and Dennis Wise. Dennis is it? Cuddy works for me. Cuddy then. So um, it's just gonna be us here. You know, I mean, Grace. Sister Grace called on your behalf, but to my knowledge, she didn't plan to be here. She's a beautiful woman. A man might say things he didn't mean to stand closer to a woman like that. Now, most street guys attach their street reputation to their personal identity. And this is actually stage one of developing an identity issue. Subconsciously, we do this to preserve our confidence because we lack an identity outside of that street world. We put in so much work for our name, risking our life, risking our freedom, all for this false sense of success. And it makes us arrogant and it keeps us ignorant because you might be a boss in your little neighborhood or in your section of the city. And because you take care of your family with all your drug money, you might think that you're a man. But let me tell you something. The real world 
the legal world will truly make a man of you. And it's a very humbling experience. On the new gym, you use my name? You use anybody's name? Hell, man, it was the time I used Smith & Wesson. Nah, look, man, I'm just saying, how y'all regular folk get it done in this town? But think about it. We go from driving forms, wearing jewelry, getting the attention of beautiful women, getting the respect from other dangerous men, to getting on a bus every morning to go to work, to making $15 an hour and getting orders barked at you by your white boss. And this is the moment of truth for a lot of weak men, for emotional, violent men. You know how many street guys came through my job and quit because their superiors spoke to them aggressively and they got emotional? What? Who you talking to? You know who I am? Nigga, nobody. <laughs> Not in this world. And the quicker you realize that, the quicker you can start your new life. I, um... I just... I've had this feeling for a long time and it's like I'm standing outside myself watching me do things I don't want to do, you know? Just seeing me like I'm somebody else but never ever being able to stop the show. I'm tired. It's cutting, right? Dennis. Now, Dennis Cuddywise might have one of the greatest character developments on the show. His actions actually affected Avon and Weebay in a positive manner. When Cuddy failed to pull that trigger, some people might view him as soft. But this was actually one of the bravest moments on the show. And let me tell you why. See, having heart is not in your willingness to commit crimes. Having heart is in your willingness to be yourself. And in the streets, being yourself is a crime. So what Cuddy did took heart. Plus, life is about growth. As you get older, the things you like is going to change. The things you want is going to change. And the things you need are going to change. So if you don't have the heart to admit this, who is truly soft? If you're stuck inside of a role that you have outgrown, my advice is to do what's best for you and fuck how many friends you lose. Edmondson and Bryce show, been there, done that. So what your boys think about you slinging burgers and fries? Now, although Cuddy made it out of the streets, he soon discovered that there's new demons to be fought and new games to be played. But mentally, Cuddy was still a soldier. And a soldier is not comfortable unless he's fighting for something, unless he's protecting something more important than himself. And this is what Cuddy was trying to explain to the Rev. I just know I got to put my mind on something or I'm gonna slide back. Need to be in control of myself, you know what I'm saying? Take command of your life. So? Cultivate some self-discipline. Or whatever. What if I told you that there's a certain liberation not in command or in self-control, but in surrender? Well, that depends on who you surrender to. Oh, that. Hey, all due respect, you can stow that pattern right here now. Look. It ain't about me doing for me, I don't think. It might need to be about more than that. Now, boxing was actually the perfect outlet for Cuddy to affect kids on a long-term level, not hauling them into school for one day out of the month. But one of the clinks in Cuddy's armor happens to be women. Cuddy forgot that people are always watching you, 
observe in how you interact with women. If you are a thirsty man who need to talk to every girl he sees, if you're a weak man who can't turn down any of the women that wants him, remember, self-control is a pillar of masculinity, not having sex with every girl that will let you. And because Cuddy was thinking selfishly, trying to make up for the 14 years he missed, he failed to realize you can't get the respect of young men if you're sleeping with their moms. And what makes it worse is, is at a boxing gym at that, a place where you preach discipline and respect. No, it's too contradictive. So you keep one at you. Yeah, boy. You know I love the women. Hey, you seen Spider around in it? I mean, he ain't been around the gym in like a month, man. I leave messages, he don't call. I don't understand, man. He's one of my best welterweights. Now, why we just quit like that? Why don't you ask his moms? <laughs> oh, that shit. I was locked up a good while, right? I mean, I ain't no angel. Nah, you ain't that. Now, I'm sorry, y'all, but I got to cut this one on Cuddy Short today. I just got home and a nigga is tired. I needed that vacation to keep my peace of mind, you feel me? But I'm not going nowhere. I'm be hitting y'all with some more Wire content soon. So, right now, it's your boy Swartz. You're here with a man's world. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Share the video. It's time for me to get out.